Hercules, welcome to Barca on air. Welcome to the Champions League draw. In just a couple minutes, we're going to find out who we will face in the quarterfinals of the European competition. We're so excited. I think excited is an understatement. No, it's not <laughs> enough. Excited is not enough because we made it. We are in the quarterfinals after four years and we're going to face seven. Huge. I, it's amazing. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, we are back. We are back. I think our audio, we have some technical <laughs> issues, technical issues, but we're back. And we're here to tell you guys who we will face in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. We're at the training session right now. The players have just dropped down inside and they're going to be watching very closely who we will face in the upcoming weeks. I mean, when is it again? It's going to be in April? April. April is going to be first leg and second leg, and then we will know the semifinals, which is at the end of April and then May. But we're going to have first leg, and I think it's six, seven in April, and the next week is the second leg. So this is our do or die in just one week. I'm like, when you say do or die, I get goosebumps. But the question we always want to ask you guys before we start and just go over everything before the draw actually starts is where are you guys watching Barca on air? Drop down your flag, your country's flag, the name of your city, whatever you want, drop it down. We have the live chat open on both of our phones and we're going to be looking at some of your guys' answers and reading them out. So drop down where you guys are watching us from. And you guys might notice that this is a new name. It's Barca on Bar Air. Barca on Air. Let us know. Do you guys like the name? Yeah. Like you guys can, can we start yeah, with this? Okay. So you can send this if you like it. And don't send this. <laughs> we only want <laughs> check marks. Check marks for this new show, Barca on Air. We're gonna do this, we hope so, to talk about the preview for all oh, the things are going well in the Champions League. Exactly. Also, we wanna do this show on the big games. So support us, guys. Whatever you are watching us from, send your support. I'm getting lots of different countries, guys. Uluswan is saying Dubai, Tal Kaiser is saying South Africa, Evie is saying India, MRA is saying uh, the United Kingdom. Joseph Galson is saying Kerala, India. So many countries from all around the world. Always. It's all insane. the supporters it's everywhere. Um, Panama as well. If you want to give a saludo to all of these Latin American people. Please. I'm pretty sure it's pretty early. It's <laughs> basically true. the morning in Latin American countries. And I know there's a lot of Pules watching this and watching all the live shows because we want to know who we will face in the quarterfinals. It's, we can say it. It's the biggest two games of the year because we already did that against Napoli and for this first leg and second leg for sure is mark on the calendar for all the goals. It's it's amazing. It's amazing. I'm very, very excited to find out who it's going to be. But let's take a quick step back and take a look at what happened in the previous round. It was the round of 16 against the Italian side Napoli. We have to put out a strong fight against them because the first leg ended in a 1-1. Mm -hmm. And then the second leg out of home just a couple of days ago, an emphatic win, a thrilling win. We're so proud of the team, the way they came out and played and performed with a 3-1 victory, giving us the tickets to the next round of the Champions League. Let's see if we can get the highlights on screen. Yeah. We do have it right now. Thoughts about this game? I think um, we might think, well, actually, for the first leg, it was a little bit complicated. We all felt like it was bittersweet because we deserved to win. We were better than Napoli at that time. They changed our coach just the night before the game. But obviously that always happened. When a team normally changes the coach, it can happen that they are probably more motivated. Uh, they change their mood, whatever. But it was a draw and it's always good. Like if you don't win, at least you have a draw in the first leg. Sure. Like everything's open and you have all the chances. And for me, I think it's gonna be one of the most memorable things that I have in my mind since we work here at Barca because Crazy. the fans, the atmosphere, the team, uh, the three goals, the celebrations, everything was like just the cherry on top to say, this is the way we want to go through to the next round. And sure. the 3-1 was really a good victory. It was crucial to score that two goals in 15 and 17 minutes. I think we have the start that is the first time in many different years that we scored two goals in less than well it was literally in two minutes, minutes it was difference. 15 and minute yeah. 17. yeah and i think for us that was the key point during the game to score that two goals in a row 
Um, we're gonna give you guys the results of the draw, so stay here because we're exactly. gonna find out together who we will face and also the other rivals because we also care about the other teams and the potential, no? Of course, of, of course. playing that semifinal if that happened. For sure. So for those who have just tuned in to Bars on Air, guys, stay tuned right here because we are going to be giving you guys live reactions of what's going to unfold in the Champions League draw, who we will face in the quarterfinals, and what the other rivals will also look like. Okay, they're telling us Ooh. the draw is starting. It's oh starting, starting, guys. <laughs> we didn't have the chance to take a look. Okay, okay Arsenal. Go for it. Go first for it. team, Arsenal. We have the first team, which is Arsenal. That means Arsenal is going to play the first leg at oh England. Gosh. And second leg with the rival is going to be... Guys, Ooh, remember that the Arsenal next has, Arteta as a coach, a La Masia graduate. He never played for the first team, but he did play for Barca Athletic, so he knows his way around Barca. He knows Barca very well. Actually, out of the seven rivals, three of them are former Barca Blaugranas, Vieta Cordiola, Luis Enrique, and Arteta. Let's see who Arsenal will face. Bayern, Bayern Munich. Arsenal, Bayern. Bayern That's Munich. good for us. That means we're not facing Bayern, which is always I'm good. Shaking. We, don't, we don't want to face them again because we have a lot of history. It's one of the teams from all these seven that we have faced the most. So we know what it is, but we prefer to play against other teams. I, I, Arsenal, Bayern. That means first leg in England, second leg in Germany. Okay. Uh, I want to read a comment real quick. Kingsley yes. Wumba is saying, we are not afraid of anyone. I like I, that. It should I be like this. That. It should be like this. Because if you want to be in the final, you need to play against all the teams. It doesn't matter. Exactly, exactly. Right now, we have the best A teams in Europe. So whoever you face, they're going to be amazing. Lenford. Okay, second team. <laughs> Atletico Madrid. We should get, we, we need to write down. Uh, Alex, do you have um, um, We're going to write down all the rivals, but meanwhile, I'm going to say... Um, because I'm going to forget. For I sure. just saw I'm that Lenford Muchindo is saying, when is the draw starting? The draw started right now. Arsenal and Bayern Munich are the first two teams that have been picked. And now Atletico has been picked from the ball. So let's see who Atletico faces. Remember Atletico, we have a great track record against the Colchoneros, two former Blaugrana players there in the likes of Memphis Sapai and Antoine Griezmann. Great performances from them against Inter to knock out the Italians just a couple nights ago through the penalty shootout. Let's see what happens now. Borussia Dortmund. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my goodness. By the way, that is good, but the, the, the results against Atletico lately in La Liga and all the other competitions are really good, but actually in the Champions League we're not that good because in 2014, they, they, they were the ones who progressed yes. uh, on the other competitions we faced them. It was actually in the 2014-16. And uh, let's see who is the third team and we're gonna find out the next game. Okay, Real, Real Madrid, Madrid, guys. Real Madrid has been the next team that has been pulled out from the ball. Woo! We, there could be a potential Clásico right here if they yeah. pick FC Barcelona what? out. Do you want a Clásico? I don't want a Clásico. Do you guys want, want a Clásico? Drop it on the live chat. Do you guys want a Clásico? No. But that, uh, honestly, I don't because we already have another Clásico coming up in La Liga. So I don't want to no. repeat. And also it's first leg and second leg. Okay, Real Madrid is going to play oh. it against... <laughs> Guardiola against Real Madrid. Okay. That's going to be such a partidazo. Oh my goodness, guys. The fun with an emoji. What are the you fun with an emoji. Real Madrid in the city draw with an emoji. Perfecto. I'm going with the mind explosion. Okay, let's let's check oh again. God. I think I think Barca. Barca claro. is maybe the next ball. It's the only two they, teams they that will are confirm. Left. Yes. But uh, we want to know if we played at home or the second leg at home. But it's confirmed that Barca will face PSG in the in the quarterfinals. You said it. I said it to Bobo. Bobo, I don't know if you're watching this, but I say we're going to face PSG. You guys, or Bayern. we're going to face PSG. That means we're going to face our former coach, Luis Enrique. Wow. And wow, 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 wow. And Dembele as and well. Dembele, exactly. This is incredible, guys. Drop down wow. your guys' thoughts on the live chat with... Okay, so the first it's leg will be PSG. in Paris, and the second leg, the return at leg, home. will be at home. I like that. I like I that the second leg it. will be in Barcelona. That's... Great. Guys, drop an emoji to please okay. react to PSG Barca. We are going to face the French team in the quarterfinals. The Ooh. French team, uh, actually, we won our last Champions League when Luis Enrique was on the bench. Sarah said it before at the beginning of the show. Four different coaches that have a Barca past 
We have Xavi, who was a player, now is our coach. We have Guardiola, who was a player and who was a coach and win three Champions League with Barca. Then we have Arteta, that Ozzy said it before. And, <laughs> <laughs> and apart from Arteta, we have, who else? Guardiola, Xavi, uh, Luis, Luis Enrique. Enrique. Luis Enrique, the one we're going to face. Yes. Uh, Dembélé, also. Mbappé, he's going to play here at the Stadio Olympic. I think it's going to be an amazing game. But I want, you know, the thought of the fans. It's, it's great. The, yeah? the, the thought, the comments that I'm getting on the live chat is very positive, very optimistic. I'm seeing so many let's go Barca, um, so much fire emoji describing this. Uh, I think the Kules are heading into this game very positive. I think that it's one of the best teams I think that we could have gotten. I definitely didn't want a Clasico because we already have a Clasico coming up. Nah. And and we know Five classical exactly in a season, in a season. Is too much. And, too much. And we know how PSG works. We've played against them, so I think that we can definitely find our ways around to to beat them and advance to the next round of no, the Champions League. No, no, no. And it's true that actually PSG did pretty well against Real Sociedad. Uh, they won both games, and they were really amazing. They're playing super well with Luis Enrique. You can notice the difference. They're doing great as a team. They're, you know, like getting their positions, and and they obviously have Mbappe, which is amazing. They have Mbappe, Dembele, hmm. which is going to be a tricky thing for us because probably he's going to be inspired to play it against us. And we will need our defenders to be really on top of Mbappe, of Dembele, course, and all their forward line. But I think with PSG, we're not going to lie, we have more chances that, for example, to play it against Manchester City. Uh, it's all what we said before. Seven teams, they're all amazing. Anything hmm. can happen in the quarterfinals. The good thing for me, not just PSG, second leg at yes. home. So at key. Home. So key. Key. Definitely. Absolutely. Key. Absolutely. I'm seeing some comments on the live chat. You guys are really loving this draw. I'm uh, Faith is saying, vamos, easy PSG. I'm not going to say easy, but I'm definitely happy that you guys are happy about easy. that. It's that you guys are ready for this. Um, Abdulazi is saying, PSG, here we go. Uh, I think go for it. this season is a proof that anything can happen in the Champions League. Look what happened with Inter. They played the final last year and they were knocked out by Atletico Madrid, who actually lost their game in the first leg in Italy. So many things can happen. Borussia is also here. No one was expecting Borussia to be in the quarterfinals. So anything can happen. I'm not going to say this is definitely the ticket for the semifinals. Don't do that because we're playing against Luis Enrique. And I think he's really good. He knows us so pretty well. well. He knows Xavi pretty well. It's not going to be easy at all, but good thing. Second leg, Estadio Olympic. And to let you guys know right now that if we advance to the semifinals, we will either face Atletico or Borussia Dortmund. That okay. is... That is Another great note. news. That is very, very great news. Oh my God, the road to Wembley! The road to Wembley, guys. It's, <laughs> it's happening. It's not happening. But let's not get... Let's not jump to conclusion. No, 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 no. Too I'm gonna soon, read too some soon. of the live chat comments because you guys are putting so much love on this live chat. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. True guys, guys, show the excitement about we're in the quarterfinals and as all the other teams, we all have the chances to play the final in Wembley this year. Chuk is saying, good draw. Let's see, let's see. Jeremy Barahona is saying, let's go. Invaluble is saying, go Barcelona. It's time for revenge. Let's go Barca. Calum is saying, uh, Barca for life. Um, Barca is saying, amor interno del Barca. That's what I like. Archubi is saying, Barca will win the Champions League. Visca el Barca. Yes. We hope so. We hope so. We hope so. Rai plays. Rai plays because I, I'm, I'm I'm wondering if we're gonna get a player to come out all of a sudden and be like, well, oh my gosh, see. we will see, we will see, we're gonna find out later what's gonna happen. Because but for sure, we we need to be uh, untouched with that. I don't know if we're gonna get their reactions on the video or what. Because we're training at the training session. Right, yeah. right, right now. They were all. They literally they changed the schedule of the training session today. They started before because the idea was to watch all together the Champions League draw downstairs. And yeah, I felt yeah, for a moment that yeah. for a while it was literally <laughs> a thing that uh, they were, well, waiting for the ball to come out for Barca. So at the end, it's... I'm sorry, we have to cut you real quick. We have Xavi Hernandez right there. Hello, Xavi. Come on, Xavi. love you. <laughs> okay, so yes. Um, we heard they were downstairs talking and saying things, Baba. definitely, because we were literally the last team on the draw. But we have to say, it worth it because completely, completely. PSG is a good rival for us. Completely, completely. We have beaten PSG many times, and of course, let's not forget that six-one remontada. Sergio Roberto, oh. Sergio Roberto, our head captain, has He's definitely here. has a very close 
to his heart to the PSG. He keeps them very close to his heart because he was the one that scored that epic goal to 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 beat PSG in the final minutes of that insane comeback in 2017. Um, you guys are also are, talking about the other games, exactly. Which is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Sarah said it before. You know, whoever wins from Atletico Borussia is the one we're gonna face in the semifinals. So I think this is a good way to do this draw because you already know the the road oh, I love it. to I the love final. It. Yes. And remember, guys, this season is the last time we're gonna play the Champions League the way it is. From next season, 24, uh, 2024 and twenty fifth. Uh -huh, I'm thinking, yeah, twenty five. Um, everything's gonna change. Uh, the the group stage, the way we're gonna face the teams, there are gonna be eight teams. Uh, there's not gonna be like um, second leg and first leg. And if everything's gonna change, we're gonna have more teams in the Champions League. A lot of things are gonna change for next season. This is the last time we're gonna see the Champions League in the way it is. Yes, exactly, exactly. I'm gonna read some more comments here on the live chat. Chance is saying we need to see Chavi. You guys, I'm Chavi. sorry we can't show you guys Chavi, but he just walked in front of us and he was I think he was very pumped about the results of the draw. The entire and, staff. Yeah, yes. the entire staff. And they just went to their offices on at our back at the right there. And what if they're already like going to the drawing boards? Like that's what we're gonna do for PSG. No, but, no, 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 no. Because no. we have Atletico coming up, but I know that they seemed very pumped. And we can see smiles right now from the office, um, looking at the, the rest of the coaching staff. We can't show you guys Xavi, unfortunately, but he sends you guys all of his love to all the culés. <laughs> oh, sorry guys. He sends all of his love to all of you culés around the world. Mr. LM is saying, I'm watching from Bangladesh. BMMC is saying, Barca versus PSG. A lot in past, but lots of fire emojis. Napoli is saying, we're not scared of any team. That's the that, type of idea like that this. I like. It yes, should be like exactly. This. Um, let's see, let's see. So many of you guys are saying show us Chavi. We wish we could, but we can't. You um, just say hi. Exactly. But yeah, um, what else do we need to take on on everything? Because we were we, we prepare everything to talk about just before the draw because we were thinking that we we're gonna start the draw maybe at 12 30. And it happened that actually they start just 50 minutes after they start the live. That which was is insane. Pretty that was quickly. insane. Pretty that was quickly. insane, yeah. Um, but yeah, for those who have just joined into Barca on air, guys, this was a Champions League draw and we will face PSG in the quarterfinals. The first leg will be in Paris and the return leg will be in Barcelona. Let's go over the rest of the draws, the ties. Arsenal will face Bayern Munich, Atletico against Borussia Dortmund, Real Madrid versus City. I think that is the biggest game. Everyone's going to be going insane. It's going to be insane. <laughs> <laughs> 100% we're supporting you. And oh, we're going to watch PSG. that game. We're going to like all the of games course, because they're all pretty amazing games. I think it's one of the biggest quarterfinals in the last years because the, all the teams are top. It's amazing. But Real Madrid, Manchester City. Whew. We also have amazing. a partidazo there. And obviously, Arsenal Bayern. We will see who's the winner here because Bayern didn't do that well against Lazio. They literally lost the first one game. Nil. The first, yes. like one nil. And then, well, they have Harry Kane, of course. We know the story of Bayer. We know that Thomas Tuchel is leaving uh, very soon. But Arsenal, Arteta, is the leader in the Premier League. And he's doing pretty well this season. Anything can happen. And the same for all the games. I, I feel like if you have to do bet, like, who's going to win each of these quarterfinals, it's really complicated. I'm just going to bet for one, but I'm not going to say which one is going to okay, win. Okay. But I, I know for sure City's it's going to win. <laughs> let's, let's do the game. Let's bring up the the, the two cards. Okay. I, want, I can hold yeah, them. You hold it. Okay. We're going to go uh, tie by tie. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. There we go. So we're going to go first. Arsenal or Bayern Munich. I want you guys, we're going to guess who we're going to, who we think is going to win. And you guys also with the emoji, you guys think Arsenal, you guys put this. You guys. It's gonna go through the next round to the semifinal. Exactly, okay, exactly, exactly. Out. Okay. Um, just to give you guys some backstory, Bayern Munich, ten points drift at the top of the uh, league table. Bayern Leverkusen, ten points ahead of them. But you Harry mentioned Harry Kane, Kane thirty-six goals in thirty-four games. So he is a striker that will deliver in big moments. He's very experienced. I see that no. as a very complicated draw for Arsenal. But I'm gonna say I think the momentum that Arsenal has moving forward. Um, the mindset of Arteta, he's hungry, he's come here, he's qualified Arsenal after 14 years Which into the quarterfinals. I'm going to go with Arsenal. Check mark for Arsenal. Let us know. Let me know who you think. And also, Kules, drop it down below who you guys think. Okay, I have to say, um, I can see the difference now between the Copa del Rey and the Champions League, how important it is to have a second leg. 
Because if you have just one game, do or die, look at the Copa del Rey. It happened that the big teams were knocked out, out of it. Uh, it's Athletic Club in Mallorca. And what's happening in the Champions League, that actually the biggest teams won the second leg. Not all the cases, because I was not expecting Atletico to uh, defeat uh, Inter. But I have to say that from Arsenal and Bayern, first leg is going to be in England, second leg is going to be in Germany. So for me, also on the semifinal is Bayern Munich. Wow, Bayern yeah. Munich. If she's going to go with Bayern Munich, I'm going to go with Arsenal, guys. Let us know. What we you will guys see. think we will see. We'll win. Let's see. Let's see. Next one. I'm seeing lots of Upsi is saying blessing. Yeah. He's gonna. She's going with Arsenal. Hamad is saying Bayern Munich. We're seeing lots of Arsenal's actually here on the live chat. Cold Penguin is also going with Arsenal. Yeah. Uh, Panda if it's up to me, I prefer Arteta in the semifinal because he's doing an amazing job with Arsenal. He's doing an amazing job in the Premier League, and because of a Blaugrana past, but. Mm, I, it, I, it's just a feeling. Yeah, the same yeah, yeah. feeling that I said PSG is going to be on the draw. Same feeling that I think from these two will be Bayern. Miska, because of the second leg. Miska saying Bayern. Um, let's see, Mina's always saying, oh, Mina's saying Barca to the final. That's what I like to hear. Road to Wembley. Um, we're also getting a Smoothie is saying Bayern as well. Robert Smith is saying Arsenal. Okay. I think that's enough. We can move on to the next tie. And yeah. that was Borussia Which is Dortmund. Atletico first, Borussia. Borussia Dortmund. Yes. Okay, guys. So I'm going to say I personally would like Atletico because I'm a fan of El Cholo and I think that what they do is nice. You're a fan of El Cholo? Yes, I am. Mm. But <laughs> I think that they have what they did against Inter. I did not expect that at all. I thought Inter was going to go and dominate at La Wanda. Um, it wasn't the case. Atletico kind of devoured them. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that we're seeing a completely different form in Memphis Sapai. He's really coming out and showing his full potential. And Griezmann. And, and Griezmann as well. Griezmann has been playing the last two seasons like insane. He's the best player in Atletico right now. Exactly. And I personally think that Atletico will beat Borussia Dortmund and we will potentially face him if we advance to the semifinals. Now, guys, before we head into anything, we want to tell you guys real quick that stay tuned because we might have a reaction from a player right here on Barca on Air. There's a potential that one of the players will come out and will join us here on Barca on Air to give their reactions about this draw against the French side, against Luis Enrique Sad PSG. Stay tuned. Players, stay right here. Your thoughts? Uh, I'm going to say the same as you. I think for these quarterfinals, the one who's going to play the semifinal is Atletico Madrid. Ooh. Because well, the, the thing that's going to change here is that the second leg is not at Wanda Metropolitano, the Civitas. So that can change things a lot because they need their ground. But we have to say, from the eight different teams we have in the draw, Borussia was probably not the most difficult one. They're not doing the, this well, like that well in, mm. in the Bundesliga. They, they don't have like that momentum in their competition and for everyone it was a surprise to have Borussia in the quarterfinals but you never know and it's always key for all the teams to play the second leg at home but I think it should be Atletico Madrid. I'm seeing lots of you guys saying Atletico as well it's going they are going to beat Borussia Dortmund guys drop down who you guys think will win Atletico or Borussia Dortmund I want to read out your guys' comments we have it here on the live <clears> chat so let's see what you guys are saying. I'm seeing a lot of people saying Remontada 2.0 coming up. The Viper is saying La Remontada version 2. Calma, calma, calma. Calma because <laughs> we don't also, want a Remontada. We no. want to win easily. <laughs> no, not comebacks. Like, we literally want just to win both games and that's it. It's like, I don't want any comebacks. That was a life story. It, we're always going to remember that game, but I don't like any no, 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 no. It's no, like, no. you're suffering and I don't like to suffer. It's like, we need to win. Salman Kule is saying, do we play the second leg at home? Yes, yes, we do, because the first leg will be in Paris against PSG. The second leg will be in Barcelona. We also have the UCL bracket right now on our right. I think it's going to be our right or our left. I'm not too sure. It's our left, I think, yeah. here for us. Um, that, is the road, that is the road to Wembley, guys. That is the bracket for the Champions League. If we beat PSG in the quarterfinals, we will face either Atletico Madrid or Borussia Dortmund. And if we beat them, we're in the finals. No, which is, you were saying something which is really important. We played the game against Napoli. It was 
the best attendance of the year, yes. even more than El Clásico. Yes. So imagine against PSG, it's going to the be second insane. leg, La Vuelta. Luis Enrique back, Luis Barca, Enrique, Dembélé. It's going to be huge. Uh, if we sell that 50,100 or it around? It was 55,301. Yeah. Uh, for this game, it will be 50,301, exactly. 310. So the nine missing to do the, all the sold out is going to be for this game, 100%. Is the quarterfinals? It's be it could be potentially our big chance to be in the semifinal after so many years. Ooh. And it means so much for the it Gules. Means, it means so much for, for the Gules. I'm seeing so many of you guys are saying, uh, Ulabi is saying, Wembley, here we go. But Enchanted Orange is saying, run it back. Um, young Richard is saying, Barca with lots of blood on a heart. Um, they go in and saying Arsenal versus Barca. No, it's not actually going to be Arsenal versus Barca because Arsenal will take on the German giants Bayern Munich. We will not be facing either of them. We will be facing PSG for those who have just joined in on Barca on air. We're going to be facing Luis Enrique side PSG in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. And if we advance, we will either face Atletico or Borussia Dortmund. You guys see the bracket right here on our left hand side. Shall we move to the next? Let's go for it. Let's go. I was saying we, sh we should go and look at... Um, what? Our goals against Napoli because that was insane to me. I th let's finish. You want to finish? With, yeah, let's finish with the last one. Okay. Which is, I think it's pretty easy. This one is like our. <laughs> we know, we know. But uh, let's let's see this one, which is the last one, and then we take out on um, the Napoli game and whatever we okay. want to check. Okay. Real Madrid City. You have these Actually, two options. I forgot that the end. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, for you, it's pretty clear for both. Yes. Huh? At the same time. Ready? One, two, three. City. City. Manchester Vamos. City, we're with Pep Guardiola all the way, former Barca coach. Guys, drop it down on the live chat. I'm expecting lots of City comments. And all and Real Madrid. Madrid. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. And Real Madrid, eh, they're going to play the second, the second leg at Etihad Stadium, Yes, which is also complicated. But we obviously, from here, we deserve the best to Guardiola, and we hope he can win both legs. Of course, of course. And the good thing is we won't be able to, we don't have to face City if we get into the semifinals. So it could potentially be a champion. I'm not going to get ahead of myself, but no, I'm just no, saying. No. Come down, come down. It come could down. potentially be a Xavi versus Pep Guardiola final. Champions oh, yeah. League final in Wembley. A place that was iconic for both Pep Guardiola and Xavi Hernandez. No, 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 insane. No. Absolutely insane. What that means, uh, between Arsenal and Bayern, we will see who will face between Real Madrid and City. So we already know the other semifinal. I am seeing lots of comments here of predictions versus City and, and Real Madrid. Um, Elmir, uh, Elmir Deis is saying definitely City. Yeah. Um, let's see, Ratatouli is saying Haaland, Haaland Rodri, De Bruyne. He's saying Haaland hat trick. AC Gaming is, gonna, is saying 10 0 for City. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Real Madrid is a very, Calma. very, very <laughs> competitive side. And they we, we know how it is Real Madrid in the Champions League. So let's see, let's see. Um, let's see. I'm seeing it's a name in Japanese. I can't read it, unfortunately, but you are seeing Barca versus City Final. Guys, let's not get ahead of ourselves, but I kind of feel like I put this upon you guys because I brought it up. We but... have to do here, we have to do as Chono Simeone. It's partido a partido. Poco, poco. Yeah, one game at a time. Exactly, exactly. Said, Said, Opus, saying hello. Hello to you, Said. Where are you hello. watching us from? Thank you Let for, us know in the comments. Thank you for joining us on Barca on Air, a brand new live program that we have that we're going to try to do as much as possible for the remainder of the season. And today was the Champions League draw. And as for those who have just joined, we're going to be facing PSG in the quarterfinals. Pika is saying, Al Barça es... La nuestra vida. Lo, 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 uh -huh. Some amazing goals from our amazing players against Napoli. That 3-1 victory. Let's see if we can get the highlights on the screen. I think we've already Mike. seen maybe the highlights. If not, maybe we can get... No, he's doing it. He's doing it. We also want to show you guys... You mentioned that it was the best attendance of the, entire season. Of the season. And we... I mean, the way that the bus arrived and the reception well, that the well. players received from the fans 
was speechless. insane, speechless. It, it was it, actually, I think it was the, the perfect arrival for the players to be high and for the fans to be, you know, hunger about the game. It was like a perfect mix. You feel it from the players, you feel it from the ground, and it just mixed perfectly. And that's why we would score the first goal at just 15 minutes. And then after two minutes, that goal from Cancelo, it was just like, you know? Insane. Yeah. And, insane, and it was insane. the perfect arrival for this season because we were expecting that for Classical, which is normal. We'll see right now the video of the arrival. But I think like this type of things gives you more excitement to the game in general. Of course, and for the players. Of course. Obviously, if they arrive with all these fans outside, Screaming, El Barça es la nuestra vida. Like, Barça Ooh, is our amazing. life. And doing all this with fireworks, scarves, uh, whatever it is. Obviously, they go to the dressing room like, vamos, vamos, we can do this. And I feel it was the same way, right? 100%, 100%. They really felt the warmth of the culés before kickoff. And I think that's so crucial. Mm -hmm. They came out onto the pitch ready to go, ready to grind out that victory. And it was quite the game. Now, I want to ask the live chat here. Who was at the game? Drop the one if you guys were at the game. Drop a two if you weren't, but I know you guys were supporting from wherever you were around the world. But I want to know who was at the game because we had the best attendance of the season so far. We definitely want to surpass it against PSG in the return leg of the Champions League. Y también a los culés que viven aquí a Barcelona se van a tal partido. Uno, no? Uno si si a Sanat y dos si no a Sanat y has mirado has visto el partido para para la tele. Exacto, exacto. I'm seeing, Ratatouille is seeing, Ratatouille, by the way, I love your name. Ratatouille. He's seeing two, didn't watch, I didn't watch it from the stadium. Sama is seeing two. Mr. UCL said number one. Very nice, very nice. Noah said is saying two. Emmanuel is saying one. Um, Ilufeo Bolduku is saying two. Elmira is saying two. Mm, Durpo is saying, when do tickets go on sale? I love it. They're already motivated to get tickets to come to the game. I think they will do it pretty soon. The thing is like, guys, if you can afford this, I know the ticket probably it's expensive and it's just, obviously the stadium is pretty smaller than the than Camp Nou. Hmm. We know that it's, uh, Camp Nou is almost double seats. But if you guys can come to Barcelona just to do the rival <laughs> with the fans and at least watch the game from any other point from the city to celebrate, because that means if we win that night and the first leg goes well, we're going to have an amazing party celebration here in Barcelona. So make sure you, if you guys can come, just at least to do the rival and watch the game from any other spot, we will be more than happy because we need the support of the fans in the entire city that day to be second night. For sure, for sure. Let's see what the live chat is putting on here about the Napoli game. Many of you guys actually attended this game, which I absolutely love. Let's see if we can get the goals of the main... Salo, that one where he jumped on the advertising board and he started celebrating like this to the Barça Scudo. That was absolutely insane. Let's see if we can get that on the screen so we can show you guys. Absolutely insane. It's on our Instagram account. It's on our, all our uh, social media channels. So go ahead, give it a like, comment what you guys think about that video. And yeah, what a game. How would you guys define that Cancelo goal? Oh. And more than anything, that celebration with an emoji. Or maybe not an emoji, maybe in a word. I no, like one that. word. One, one word. word. Drop it down. How yes. you guys would define the Cancelo celebration, the second goal scored of the night, in one word. We're gonna try to show you guys on screen. Um, but meanwhile, drop down below in one word. Meanwhile, you think too. Hmm. I need to think. Wow. Let's see what live chat is I have saying. it. I have it. You say, you say I it. Have Go it. for it. Key. Key. Explain. Key. Key, because for me, if you don't score that second goal on the first half, after Fermin, we're seeing it right now, look at this. And be on top uh, on the game, if we take into account that Napoli scored that goal in the first half, it's definitely, I mean, like for me, it was key. Because if you don't score that second goal that quickly, probably you start the second half with a draw. And many things can happen in 45 minutes because we also saw many good chances from Napoli in the second half. Pretty good saves from Marc-André Trostegui in the second half. So for me, it was key. Definitely. For sure, for sure. Um, let's see. I'm seeing a comment here. I want to just go off topic for a second. Ziad Mekit is saying, Sarah, can you say my name, Ziad Mekit? Ziad Mekit, hello to you. You want to say hi to them? What is it? Ziad Mekit. 
Hello. Thank you so much for joining Barca on air. Um, Abu Kamara saying wonderful, defining that goal and celebration. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Sus is saying passion. I think that was the word I was thinking of because of the passion that he showed, celebrating, touching the Barca's crest as if he's been at Barca for his entire life. But we're going forward because it's, it's not about the celebration, it's the meaning of the goal for the team. It's like his reaction is because I think he knows that scoring that second goal that quickly, it was just like perfect. Chance is saying fire, we stand is saying passion. Mm, let's see, let's see, let's see. Adam is saying hope. Um, Reen X2018 is saying unstoppable. Yeah. Drawing yes. art is saying relief. Mm, I'm seeing so much passion as well. Another dire direction saying passion. Uh, Oscar is saying powerful. That's also another yeah. good way to explain yeah. it. I'm going to go with Ratatouille and Samai. And who else did I see? Um, and we stayed. And I'm going to go with passion as well. I think for me, that celebration was passionate. Very, very passionate. It gave me goosebumps watching it back again. Um, but... Remember that not only Cancelo scored, Fermin scored the opener, Cancelo scored the second, and the third goal was scored by Robert Lewandowski. It was a 3-1 victory. But guess who was the player that was the standout after, and didn't even score the, any of the goals? It was a youngster. Exactly. He was the MVP chosen by UEFA, the Champions League. 17-year-old, what a performance. By My the gosh. way, second MVP of the Champions League made in La Masia because also for me, one, one of the MVPs in the Champions League and now Pau, that you guys, you've had the chance to go to a stadium and you see the entire ground saying, go, 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 it's insane, go, it's go. insane. It's like, he's just 17 years old and he defends like a veteran. Like he knows so much how to position himself, how to move, how to give the ball, how to wait for the right moment, how to look for that empty space uh, close to the forwards, the strikers. It's just like, this guy is 17, but mentally he plays like a guy who's 40, you know? For sure, for sure. He's very, very, it seems like he's very, very experienced, but he's only 17 100%. years old. I don't know what we were doing when we were 17, <laughs> but we were definitely not on a pitch <laughs> playing professional for football. Party. <laughs> like, party and uh, that's it. Guys, drop down below with an emoji this time to describe Kubatsi's performance. MVP of the night. I have a comment here that I wanted to read out. Let's see if I can find it well, again. Well, you're finding that um, from all the stats we have from that game against Napoli, actually, Paul Guarci was the player who completed more passes in the entire game with a, a total of 61, which is insane because you might think like in his position, it's not that actually easy hmm. because we also have Kunde and Araujo on that top five with Cancelo. But they're not doing or they're not giving passes more than 40. In his case, Paul Kubarsi was on top of Ilkay Gundogan, who did 56, who is on top of almost all of the stats we have from that game. But Paul Kubarsi completed a total of 61 passes. And it was actually the top three players who recovered more balls during that game, which is like his 17. 100%. It was literally his debut in the Champions League in the starting lineup. How can he be like? No words. Like, where, where's this guy coming from? We know it's from Espanol, but what do they eat in Espanol? <laughs> Absolutely no words to describe Kubarsi's performance. Um, we got a highlighted comment. I, it left me and I can't couldn't read the name of the user, but they put, we will win with Blauer Gana Hearts. It was a highlighted comment. So thank you so much. We got our first highlighted comment of the live. I also saw the comment. It was regarding you, but I can't find it anymore. I remember what it said. It said, Maya, I'm going to come from India to the quarterfinals Please. and I want to meet you. That was what he said. Can, come, come can from, he meet you? Yeah, yeah, of course. It's like, guys, if you're going to come next time we do a live, it's going to be really soon. I'm pretty sure we can do a live a preview for the PSG game. Of course, game. of course. Of you course. guys, let us know if you're coming to Barcelona the day of the game. I, I, I really like, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but we promise like between me and Sarah, if we're doing blog, we're doing real time, whatever we're doing for the game, we're going to make sure you guys are going to be there and we're going to do a video together, whatever. But it's like, we want the support from all the fans. Yes. And if you can afford it, I'm 100% sure it's going to work it. For sure, for sure. I'm seeing many of you guys are saying, we want to see the players' reactions. Ziyad Mikita saying, we want to see the players' reactions. Actually, just now we saw Ilkay Gundogan come out of the comedor, the yeah. cafeteria, and he, I think he was just leaving. He just had lunch post-training and he was leaving home. We're going to see if we can get a player here on Bars on the Air.
uh, Barth on air, my bad, to get his reactions <laughs> of this quarterfinal draw against PSG. So stay tuned, guys, because there might be a might surprise be. guest here. It could be from the first team of Barca. I'm so hyped for this. I'm so hyped for this game. I think we're overall. Like, we're not expecting this. Um, because it's not easy. We know how the season works. It's all ups and downs. It's not just to us. It happened to all the teams. We'll go through injuries, bad times, bad results, whatever. It's happening to all the teams. Yeah. Always. It's impossible. We have players. We don't have machines. Obviously, they can get injured. They can get some t some days. Maybe they're more than tired and things are not going well. Maybe the opponent is in a better shape than you. Maybe they know better what to do in some positions. I don't know. But it can happen mm. to any team in, in La Liga, in the Bundesliga, in the Premier League. Look at the Premier League. We were expecting probably City to be on top of the, of the league. No, it's Arsenal. So we have all ups and downs and it's completely normal. But for me, if you say to me, uh, probably after the months we suffer a lot with the results or oh, things we're not expecting the, the go in the same way that goes like next, last year, maybe. You see us in the quarterfinals. And with a good chance of playing the semi-final, it's crazy. And probably the final. It's crazy. It's like if you ask me this two years ago, three years ago, that we were struggling the Champions League. We all know that we suffer after Messi, and it's not easy to go through the next round in the Champions League. We're talking these the biggest teams in Europe that are playing on that competition. Now, it's like I think we're buying more percentage of getting into the final. Of course, game of course. after game. And I think we have a great momentum heading into this game. Um, I think it's very important for us to beat Atletico on Sunday to 100%. continue the I'm momentum yeah. in, in La Liga. I remember that the last game was against Mallorca. We struggled a lot in, against that game. Um, but let me save us. Let me save us with a golazo, Ter Stegen, another clean sheet. Uh, fifth consecutive clean sheet um, for several seconds. So we're very, very happy. Um, and I, But I definitely... Oops, sorry. <laughs> but I definitely think that... A win on Sunday is absolutely key to keep this yeah. momentum and this wave of energy going. I want to read one comment in the live chat. Ismael Caldin is saying, I will travel 1,673 miles to watch the games. Can you please say my name? Ismael, good job. Amazing. Ismael. Guys, we, we need more Ismael. We, exactly. That's a culé. If Barca goes to, uh, I don't care, um, north, south, west, east, whatever it goes, if you can afford it, you are not that far. And I don't know, you just need to find a way to go and see the team. It's like worth it. It's Barça. Barça es la nuestra vida. Exacto. Like the sun. Exacto, exacto. Let's see. Um, we're going to go over our favorite Champions League Woo. moments so far of this season, of this campaign. Okay. I have a moment picked, you have a moment picked, but the main important thing is, is that Kules, we want you guys to choose your favorite Say Champions it. League moment. We're going to go over ours. Meanwhile, you guys think, drop it down in the live chat, and we will be reading out your guys' answers. Exactly. So, Champions League moments for, for me, I would say Joao Felix in the win against Porto. I think it was such an important win. I think that game, we were also trailing 1-0. Porto scored first, uh -huh. and we quickly made the, the comeback. And also the way he celebrated Joao Felix, the Joao's in general are very passionate when they celebrate, and I love that. I'm I consider myself a very passionate person, so I really relate to that. So I'm gonna go with Joao Felix because we already talked about Cancelo, and I didn't want to do the same thing. But I'm gonna go with favorite moment: the Joao Felix goal against Porto, which was amazing. Yes. And obviously, we know that he was extra motivated uh, with all the Portuguese thing and and what it means for a player to face. Um, former team or whatever it is. Hmm. So I think also it's good to have the new signings of the season that involve in the crucial games. Of course. Champions League, Clásicos, whatever it is. I'm, can I read some before yeah, course, you say yours? Riam is saying Fermin Masterclass. Didio is saying the 5-0 against Antwerp. Um, Chance is also going with Joao Felix. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Sama is saying, yes, I remember that. That's also my faith. All in caps with lots of hearts. Thank you for the excitement. Um, Ilfa Boluteuku is saying my favorite moment will be when Lamin gets his first Champions League goal against PSG. I love that. I love that. Calma. <laughs> Calma. Go for it. Yeah. I'm going to say, for me, uh, I pick up, I will say probably the easy one. I doubt it. Uh, but for me, it's Paul Kouarsi MVP. But not just, I just picked up 
Pau because it's the latest to win the, the MVP. But if I have to pick, it's also for me because this is Masia players. We're talking about talent. We're talking about it's the top season. We're now we're having a different stage. You guys? And, and the, in this past years, but we okay. have a special guest. We're going to have a special guest. It is. Okay. Okay. Fermin okay. Lopez. Lopez. I'm going to leave. No, no. You, oh, stay, yeah. you stay close. Oh, no, you go for it. I'm going to give him a mic. Okay. You guys, Fermin Lopez is about to come drop on the live chat. Give the mic to Fermin. Aquí, al lado mío. Sí. A ver, eh, Sara, tú nos vas diciendo eh, comment. We're going to change to Spanish because we're going to talk to Fermín. Eh, o en catalán. <ríe> en catalán yo... Es igual. ¿Es igual? Vale. Bueno, en, en castellano y voy probando yo el catalán porque tú sabes más que yo. Eh, vale, comenzamos con la primera y básica. ¿Cuál fue la reacción del vestidor? ¿Cómo te sientes tú? ¿Cómo se sienten todos en el, en el vestidor sabiendo que nos enfrentamos al PSG en la ida? Va a ser en París, la vuelta en casa. Bueno, pues es un partido difícil de sin equipazo, pero bueno, daremos lo máximo para los victorios. Contra Lucho. Hay extra motivación por alguien de casa, el último que consiguió la Champions del Barça. ¿Qué piensas? Bueno, la motivación es la misma, pero es sí, verdad que tiene grandes jugadores y un gran entrador y, y bueno, será un partido complicado. De resto del sorteo. ¿Qué, ¿Qué ven del resto de los equipos? ¿Quiénes se han clasificado? ¿Cómo han quedado los...? Eh, ¿Cómo le llaman? Cuando los hacen el, el, Exacto, los emparejamientos. Yo creo que es bastante competitivo todo, ¿Sí? la verdad. Y, y bueno, el que nos toque ya a partir de ahora será la siguiente. ¿Cuáles crees que son para ti las claves para jugar contra el PSG? Porque aparte nos enfrentamos a Dembélé por primera vez, a Mbappé, que ya sabemos cómo es, y obviamente Luis Enrique, que sabe cómo juega el partido. Bueno, pues sobre todo las transiciones, yo creo que ellos arriba pues tienen jugadores diferenciales como Mbappé, Dembélé y, y bueno, yo creo que si controlamos bien eso con nuestro juego puede más que el año. Ok, we need to go uh, back and forth with Spanish and English. Uh, for me, it's saying that they were excited, obviously, to have PSG and facing in the quarterfinals. All the teams are really difficult, are really tough. Uh, the other games we're going to play, oh, we're going to see, actually, on TV, they're going to be really tough also, but we have our chances. And he said the key will be the transition to be on top of the keys that PSG usually will play against us or any other team. Lucho, we know how it is, but he said it's not an extra motivation to play it against Lucho. It's just extra motivated to obviously play the quarterfinals. Viene el parón y después pensamos en el PSG, pero ahora hay que enfocarnos en el Atlético este domingo. ¿Cómo ves al equipo después de clasificarnos a los cuartos? Bueno, pues el equipo está en buena dinámica, eh, pero ellos también porque han terminado en pasar de ronda y juegan en casa. Y bueno, pues sí, intentaremos hacer lo que estamos haciendo ahora y poder conseguir la victoria y recortar el tiempo. Okay, for me, saying now that Atlético is also doing super well because they qualified to the quarterfinals against Inter, they are now in the next round. It was surprising for all, but that means that also they're in a really good stage. They're doing really well, and it's going to be tough for us, but we're going to do our best. ¿Te esperabas ese resultado del Atlético contra el Inter? ¿Y puede ser también una prueba de que este año en la Champions nada está decidido? Bueno, yo pensaba que el favorito era el Inter, porque me tenía muy bien, y pensaba que el resultado que tenía en mi casa Okay, now for me, perdona que voy, voy traduciendo porque tenemos muchas personas conectadas en diferentes partes del mundo. Uh, he said that he was expecting Inter to go through the next round because they defend pretty well, but obviously uh, Atletico was playing at home, they did really well and they passed to the next round and it's amazing for the Cholo team. Uh, ¿Qué crees que serán las claves de este domingo? Porque claro, venimos de los dos de una resaca buena de clasificarnos en la Champions. ¿Qué tiene que hacer el Barça este domingo para llevarse a nuestros puntos? Pues primero estar concentrados en el partido del de domingo, no pensar más allá y, y bueno, ellos también eh, es un equipo que defiende bien y intentaremos posicionarles arriba, que nos salgan y, y hacer un poco. Okay, uh, obviously they defend pretty well, the same we can say as Italian teams. Uh, what we need to do is just to stay focused and be worried about the three points, do our best, because also we are going to play uh, this game this Sunday. And even though they're celebrating the same as us, we need to focus on La Liga and this next game. 
Ahora te pregunto, ¿cómo se siente para ti, que también ganaste el MVP en la Champions, ver a Pau ganando el MVP en el último partido y que sea la masía que también digas, han hecho unos partidazos, han marcado ya varios goles este año en la Champions, ya sabes lo que es, este año lo, lo has hecho varias veces. ¿Cómo te sientes de ganar el MVP, de ver a Pau ganar el MVP y que haya esta representación de la masía en algo así? Pues yo creo que para la masía es un orgullo porque somos gente de la casa que sentimos el club, somos del base de pequeño y, y bueno, también muy contento por Pau que está haciendo grandes partidos igual que a mí, igual que todo el equipo, pero bueno, orgulloso de la masía. Te voy a dar este, este no funciona, o sí. Te voy a dar este porque es más importante que se escuche lo que dices tú que lo que digo yo. <risa> Así que si quieres lo repites. Para... Claro, pues, que es un orgullo para la masía, pues que estén saliendo las cosas bien, que, que estemos ganando y bueno, la verdad que nos hemos estado muy orgullosos porque sentimos el club desde pequeño y, y bueno, muy contento también por Pau que han dicho lo del MVP, por sus grandes actuaciones y por la que hay que decirlo, la forma como celebraron el MVP casi matan al propio Pau en el campo, pero yo creo que es la emoción ¿no? de todos, la, la, sí. la tuya, la de Ander, la de Joao Cancelo, que la gente se sorprende mucho que se lleve también con todos los chicos de la masía, pero ¿qué, qué significó para Pau ¿no? también ese momento? Yo creo que estaría que no dormiría por la noche, seguro pero bueno, yo que nos alegramos todos porque es un buen chico y, y bueno, la verdad que tenemos buen feeling entre todos y What he's saying right now is actually for the Masia players, it means a lot. This batch, this club, for them, it's everything. They are from Barca since they're little kids. And for Pau, they're super proud of Pau. Pau is doing amazing and he deserves that. And, no sé, a ver, es que a este punto ya, entre Pau, entre lo que estás haciendo tú, lo que está haciendo la mil, es muy difícil encontrar talento tan joven y que sea tan. Claro, de la forma en cómo juegan, lo bien que están haciéndolo, independientemente de las competiciones. ¿Qué los motiva tanto, además de ser del Barça desde pequeños? Viendo todo lo que hay fuera. Bueno, que es una oportunidad, que era nuestro sueño y tampoco la queremos dejar pasar. Y bueno, la verdad que, que todo el equipo y el mismo pues, nos da esa confianza y nos ayuda mucho a, a aprender y, y a que la cosa nos salga bien. Vale. Para lo que queda de la temporada, ahora sí tenemos dos competiciones, las cosas se ponen cada vez más difícil, vienen partidos muy difíciles también en la liga. ¿Qué te esperas de parte del vestidor y de parte de todos los jugadores para lo que queda? Bueno, yo creo que tenemos muchas ganas de, sobre todo en la Champions, que, que ahora está en buena dinámica y en la liga pues esperar que pinchen los que están por encima <risas> nuestros y nosotros pues no fallar y creer hasta final. Perfecto, Fermi, pues te dejamos ir porque nos han dicho que sí. eh, tenemos que despedirnos. Pero solo quiero decir dos cosas. Moody sí. 10 is saying Fermin is my favorite player. And HHKK is saying, can you score a goal for me against PSG? ¿Puedes oh, me... <risa> ojalá, ojalá. Ojalá que sí. Yeah. ¿Tienes celebración pensada si marcas otro en Champions? Sí. Te quedas aquí. Podemos That's preguntarte por qué. No, me gusta. Te gusta. Vale, perfecto. Pues dejamos a Fermín que se vaya y que descanse, que tenemos un partido muy difícil el domingo. Gracias, Fermín. Gracias. Perfecto. Gracias. Gracias. Okay, Ciao. we're back with us is here. Uh, Fermin said... That was amazing, guys. Good job. What an interview. I absolutely love that. No, and I, I was just amazed about the passion they have just to be La Masia players, what it means for them, Barca. It's like, it's, it's not difficult to explain that, but it's like, if you grow with this, for them, this team, this club, this badge is everything. And we're more than proud to have Pau, to have Lamin, to have Fermin. They're just super B players, and, and I don't know, it was difficult for me to speak in Spanish, translate. It was great. You did an absolutely amazing job, guys. Let's put some clapping emojis for my rostro. Wow. What, an, uh, what an interview that was. And of course, some Blaugrana hearts for Fermin Lopez, our La Masia graduate. That, Incredible. by the way, yeah, I asked him, the last question about, uh, was about the, obviously, what we're going to face in the last two, three months we have in the old competitions, obviously, Champions League in La Liga. He said that we obviously expect the other teams to, as they say in Spanish, in Spanish pinchar, which means they drop points uh, in the other games they're going to have, obviously, during the, the season. We need to remember that uh, for what we have this year, yes. we are going to face Girona and Montilivi, Atletico at Wanda this weekend, Real Madrid at Bernabeu. So we have pretty tough games, but also that's good because it's direct. 
uh, games and means that we can take some points from these games. Definitely, definitely. Well, guys, we're going to wrap it up now. That was the Champions League draw right here live from Ciudad Sportiva. We also got a live reaction from one of our star players, Fermin Lopez. We hope you guys enjoyed this first live show of our Barcelona. new program, Barca on Air. Now remember, stay tuned to all of our social media channels because we're going to be bringing you all the action first our Sunday match against Atlético Madrid, and then all the build-up for the upcoming games, and of course, the big, big, big dates on your calendar against PSG. Gosh. Well, <laughs> should we say goodbye to all the culés? Thank you for watching from all over the world. Muchas gracias por estar aquí al, al live del Barça, y we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Peace Barça. Adiós. Peace Barça. Adiós. <laughs>